what to pack first when moving. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Holly Brainerd and I'm a realtor with Daniel Gale Sotheby's International Realty right here in Stony Brook, New York. You're moving, great. Now you have to pack. One of the most important tasks to accomplish is also one of the most dreaded. If you're like me, you get overwhelmed when you think about what do I pack first? So the logic we're gonna follow is to start with the least frequently used rooms and go all the way to the most heavily trafficked areas. If it's going to be several weeks before you actually move, well, you don't wanna pack up the heavy traffic rooms right away because then you're gonna be bobbing and weaving between boxes for quite a while. So the first area you're going to attack is the garage, the attic, or the basement. All of these areas tend to store a lot of odds and ends, and they're gonna take quite a bit of time to pack. Make sure, of course, you purge whatever you don't need to bring. Number two, unoccupied rooms, like guest rooms. These are so easy to pack because usually they don't have a lot of stuff in it and can make you feel very much accomplished. Once a spare room has been packed up, you can then use the rest of that space to store other boxes as you go. The kitchen is your third room. That one tends to be pretty tough because you've got odd shaped items that don't fit in the boxes easily or effectively. So this one you need to really go at methodically, but this is when things really start to disrupt your daily use of the house. The fourth room is your living room. That's probably the room you spend most of your time in, but to leave this to the last minute, not advisable. Games and puzzles and books, you wanna make sure you attack this room next. Coming down the home stretch now with room number five, which will be the bedrooms. You're definitely gonna be tired, so you want to approach this room as one of the last rooms. Thankfully, things like comforters and pillows, they can get packed up and pulled the day that you're moving. Finally, the very last rooms that you should pack is the bathrooms. This is a room you absolutely need access to every single day, right up to the day of moving. Ideally, you're not gonna pack the bathroom until the night before, if not the morning of your move. At the local liquor stores at night will put outside of their doors all of the unused or no longer needed liquor bottle boxes. These things are fantastic for packing up kitchen dishes and glasses and that type of thing. They usually come with uh, tops or you can close them securely and they've got built-in handles. So I definitely recommend you try to find as many free boxes as possible. A side tip about that, I can't speak. A side tip about boxes for you. When I, what is that? What was that? Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Thursday, all things real estate, and you don't want to miss a thing. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.